Christina, Molly, and TJ are nailing their scenes slash what will happen next? Okay, I think most of us can agree that the writing for the surrogacy storyline is clumsy at best because they had to make these three behave out of character to push this plot. But let's just put that aside for the moment, as there are plenty of posts about this already. Regardless of the contrived storyline, these actors are nailing their scenes. I hated watching Molly berate Christina, but damn, she was amazing in her delivery. Girl gave me goosebumps. Christina is doing an amazing job of portraying this extremely hormonal and irrational surrogate for her sister. Regardless of the flaws in her logic, she believes the words that are coming out of her mouth, and I can feel her pain. TJ has also been doing a great job playing the role of a man who feels powerless in all of this and is going about things the wrong way, but his frustration is palpable. All three of these characters are meant to come off as irrational, and they are doing a good job portraying that. For those who've been watching the storyline unfold, what do you think will happen next? Will they go to family court? Is Christina on the verge of a breakdown? Will this baby even survive all this drama? Will TJ and Molly's relationship survive all this drama? Are you Team Molly slash TJ, Team TJ only, Team Christina only, or Team Christina and why? Are there any acting moments you appreciate regardless of where you stand on the issue? Fresh takes on this are 100% welcomed. Let's have fun with this post. Molly has been particularly impressive, and Alexis is consistently good, especially in her recent scene with Christina. The direction of this storyline is unclear since everyone's behavior seems out of character, making it hard to predict what's coming next. While I'm not a fan of this storyline, it's great that the acting stands out as a positive aspect. True, it's tough to ignore how out of character everything feels. However, the way Alexis and Christina interacted in their recent scene made me suspect something might be wrong with Christina. It would be too obvious to make her bipolar, but her performance suggested that perhaps the stress from her pregnancy and other recent pressures might be triggering something. As an attorney, though not specializing in family law, it seems Molly's situation is problematic. Without a contract, Christina isn't legally obligated to give her the baby. Even if there were a contract, depending on the state, Christina could have 10 to 30 days to change her mind. Additionally, if a contract existed, Christina could claim duress, saying she was pressured by Molly. Ultimately, Molly has no legal rights. TJ, being the biological father, will not have his name on the birth certificate since he's not married to Christina, but this could be resolved with proof of paternity. Although it might be more complicated, TJ should still be able to secure visitation rights given his status as a doctor with no criminal record. If Christina has a past arrest, as long as it's not recent, it's unlikely to affect the custody case. Predicting the outcome of the custody battle is challenging because the court prioritizes the child's best interests. Christina's life appears unstable. She seems to have lost her job at the center and likely relies on Sunny or Alexis for housing. On the other hand, TJ's demanding and unpredictable doctor schedule makes him less available for the child, and he can't rely on Molly to be available due to her job. Ultimately, the custody decision will depend on the judge, the behavior of the parties involved on the day of the hearing, and the performance of their attorneys. In my professional opinion, the custody arrangement might be close to 50 50 with Christina likely being the primary custodial parent given the baby's age and the lack of evidence proving Christina is a danger to the child. Courts generally lean towards the mother in close cases. Once again, I'm not a family law specialist, so I'd appreciate input from someone in that field to correct any inaccuracies in my analysis. Thanks for discussing the rights of each character. Molly's approach to surrogacy was surprising, given her background and her mother's legal expertise. I'm enjoying this storyline, as it highlights how having a baby can profoundly impact one's life, despite any prior beliefs.
Surrogacy is perplexing to me because I can't imagine giving up a baby after carrying it. It makes sense that Christiva is struggling, and I would likely be inclined to keep the baby myself. We don't know the details of the first surrogacy, but it wouldn't be surprising if that surrogate also changed her mind. The storyline is intriguing and could become even more complex as the delivery approaches. I'm really enjoying it. In my view, the characters seem out of character due to stress. Extreme situations can push people to their limits. I'm curious how the previous actors for Christina and Molly would have handled this storyline. Initially, I didn't think I would get used to the new actors, but now I can't picture the old ones in these roles. While the acting in this storyline is impressive, it's challenging to figure out who to support since both TJ and Christina are acting poorly. TJ has been rude and controlling throughout the pregnancy, yet Christina, who should have been aware of the implications, is now trying to back out. Though the storyline feels overplayed, I don't completely dislike it. The actors are doing a commendable job with the material they've been given. I empathize with Christina as this is her first child and her maternal instincts are kicking in, leading her to want to protect the baby at all costs. Christina seems to be making excuses rather than admitting that she genuinely wants to keep the baby without appearing as the villain. I dislike how TJ and Molly are attacking her by bringing up her past relationships and employment. Blaze is also getting unfair criticism despite not having done anything wrong. Being a doctor or a lawyer doesn't inherently make someone a better parent. I can understand their anger, which might be clouding their judgment, but if they think so poorly of Christina, why proceed with the process? The show should have depicted TJ and Molly better preparing for the baby, or at least planning for its arrival, rather than constantly arguing about Christina. If this goes to family court, the custody arrangement would likely be 50 50 as it's unlikely they would remove a newborn from its mother, especially when Christina isn't shown to be a terrible parent. This storyline bothers me, but Christina's concerns are not entirely unfounded. If TJ and Molly were to break up, not that I'm suggesting they will, or if Molly, after getting the baby, feels no emotional connection and decides not to mother a child that isn't biologically hers, which could be a potential storyline for Molly. What if TJ ends up being an unreliable father? Christina could have no legal claim to protect the child from such a situation. Christina is contemplating various worst-case scenarios and may also be realizing her own desire to be a mother. The storyline is intricate because it reflects real-life complexities that aren't simply black and white. All the actors are delivering exceptional performances. I love it when Molly is portrayed as the strong idea. Her courtroom scene with Kate really showcased her strength. We definitely need more of ADA Molly. Thanks for sharing your perspective. Initially, I thought TA didn't show any signs of being a deadbeat dad and Christina's decision to be their surrogate was based on trust in both TJ and Molly as a couple and individuals. However, considering Christina's hormonal changes, emotional and physiological bond with the baby, and the fact that this is her first pregnancy, it's understandable that she might be spiraling into worst-case scenarios. Her focus on protecting the baby at all costs makes sense from that angle. Right now, I'm on Team Christina. For now, this could change based on her next actions, because I don't think TJ and Molly have given her the support she needs. Their behavior seems to have pushed her into this irrational mindset. Even though TJ is a doctor with plenty of medical resources, he's not handling the situation with the expertise one might expect. It's realistic that experts can be irrational in their personal lives too. This situation is indeed complex. I miss the part where Christina showed any over-emotional responses. Her irrational behavior, where she's linking unrelated things to justify keeping the baby, suggests she might be heading towards a mental breakdown, perhaps even a trip to Ferncliff. Alexis, Nancy, tried to talk sense into Christina, 
but it didn't seem to help, highlighting just how detached Christina has become. If Christina doesn't go to extremes and take the baby and run, we might be headed for a court battle. Could Diane, thanks to Sunny, represent Christina, while Molly might enlist Alexis for support, leading to another Alexis slash Diane showdown? It's unfortunate that the story, which should focus on Molly and TJ, has shifted mainly to Christina. They decided to pursue surrogacy after a pregnancy scare and a failed attempt, and now it seems like they might face another setback due to Christina's central role. I'd be surprised if Christina loses unless this is setting up for a mental breakdown. Christina's actions do seem delusional and out of line. Christina is convincing herself that Molly and TJ are going to break up as an excuse to keep the baby for herself and Blaze. The reality is that she's become attached and wants the baby for herself. She's using any excuse and playing mental gymnastics to justify her decision. It's selfish of her, and she's willing to hurt her sister and break her promise. Even if TJ and Molly did break up, they would likely arrange a joint custody agreement. There's no need to protect the baby from the possibility of its parents splitting up. Christina knows from her own experience that two people can co-parent a child without being together, so her claims are completely unfounded and she's just clutching at straws to keep the baby. I've disliked this storyline from the start, and it's been frustrating. The characters do come off as unhinged, but the actors are effectively portraying their roles. It's a fascinating discussion topic, and I'll be revisiting this thread to see others' opinions. What might seem out of character could actually be the result of TJ and Molly's anxiety. When people are in anxiety loops, their behavior isn't always rational, and a couple facing such a nerve-wracking situation might exacerbate each other's stress. Down the road, once the drama settles, it's likely that the baby will become a minor detail, only occasionally mentioned like Donna. The actors are doing a great job, and I find myself frustrated with all of them at different points. I dislike how Molly and TJ speak about and treat Christina. Christina's focus on keeping the baby within the family, in case the relationship fails, seems manipulative and could lead to a self-fulfilling prophecy. Molly and TJ might end up breaking up over Christina, leading to Christina filing for custody and giving the baby to Molly, who will have no legal claim. I still stand by my original theory that the original baby will make a reappearance, perhaps the surrogate dies, and her husband will say, here, take your baby back, or maybe Molly slash TJ will encounter the surrogate or the baby. This would create a chaotic situation, which Christina could use as an excuse to keep the baby she's currently carrying, claiming, you're too busy, or are you prepared for two babies, and voila. What's really wild to me is that Christina seems totally fine with raising her brother-in-law's baby as her own. That situation would be so strange. Plus, TJ would definitely fight for custody, making co-parenting with Molly and TJ quite complicated. I'm still puzzled about Molly's parental rights. If she adopts the baby, doesn't she gain parental rights even if they break up? Or is Christina concerned that Molly and TJ might split up before that happens? Also, Christina needs to remember that she is the surrogate, and in terms of parenting, she doesn't have a say. It's a tough reality, but it's true. We all saw this coming. The actors are doing a great job, but I genuinely dislike Christina's actions. Although Tolly isn't perfect, Christina's selfishness is glaring. She's not being honest about why she hasn't addressed the pregnancy, and Tolly is aware of this. Legally, Christina and TJ are considered the parents, while Molly has no legal rights to the child, because Christina never entered into a binding contract. Even if a contract had been signed, the law generally allows a period for Christina to change her mind, ranging from a week to a month depending on the state. 